All right, y'all, so we're here at this um, old railroad bridge here. Uh, there used to be a railroad uh, that ran uh, from like all the way down there, um, straight through here, went over uh, this bridge here. Uh, apparently they must have tore it down uh, some time ago. Uh, it says that it was made in 1917. Uh, we got our uh, chest waders here. Uh, we got an empty truck and we got some uh, fishing magnets. Um, I think they're in this bucket here. Uh, so yeah, we're about to go uh, hop in, get suited up and uh, hop down over here into the uh, Scioto River here. Um, it's a little bit higher than it normally is, but it's not like anything crazy. So we should be okay. Uh, and we're gonna see what we can pull up out of here as far as uh, like anything metallic. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get suited up and get, get down in there. All right, so now we're down here. I guess we'll see what, see what we can find. All right, I think I got something in here. Uh, threw it a couple times already. Not 100% sure if I got something, but feels like I do. Oh, and there's a railroad spike. Oh, two of them. Plus something else. Oh, that never fails, you know. Uh, come by the railroad. I always expect to find these things, man. Um, the railroad is not very... Um, like they're not very environmentally conscious, I don't think. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, you find them things all over. Oh, there's something here too. I don't know if it's metal. Nope. Huh. So, yeah man. First finds of the day. Two railroad spikes and a piece of metal bar or something. There's probably like a whole bunch of them spikes in here, to be honest. Uh, and that's kind of why I came down here. See if I can find stuff like that. We got our magnet hooked on something here. Uh, I don't know if it's a rock or something metal. But I'm gonna ease my way out here. Make sure this river don't get too deep. And uh, see if I can pull it up here. Uh, this is like a really eerie feeling uh, walking out like this. Uh, I'm not, I'm still not used to the waders. Uh, they get really tight uh, when you're like waist deep and you're completely dry. It's really weird. Uh, I guess they're almost like half of a dry suit if you're diving. But uh, yeah, it's just really a weird feeling I'm not used to yet. So we're gonna pull this up here and uh, see if we got anything. It's really heavy. I think there's something, something there. We got this piece, but I think there's more. So we're just gonna, I don't know if we're gonna chuck it up there. It sounds like there's a truck up there. 
We'll uh, hold on to it. And yeah, we got something right here. I don't know if there's any pockets in this thing to put this. Uh, I'll just hold on to it, I guess. Try to pull up what we got here. Oh, I think I got it. I, th I think it's probably one of them tie plates, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So we're gonna drag this back to shore. We're back to the bank here. Throw it somewhere where it's not gonna fall back in and uh, keep on fishing. All right, yeah. I actually think I hit another tie plate out here. Uh, so I'm gonna walk out here again, see if I can get a more direct pull on it and uh, see what it is. Oh, maybe not, I don't know. It might be there. Cast it again here. Somewhere in this area I'm hitting something. Something's metal. I can feel it, but it's not coming up. It's probably buried in the silt. So I'm gonna try and rehook it. Oh, almost. I'm on it. It's definitely something magnetic right there. Uh, I'm not getting a good, good pull on it. I'm working with like zero visibility here. Uh, so I can't really see what I'm on, but I can feel it. It's something big. Probably another one of them tie plates or uh, something like that. I'm gonna try to feel with my foot. I can feel it. Oh, something long, long, heavy, and metal. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my foot under here. See if I can pull it up with my feet and the magnet. Oh, piece of rebar. Haha. -ha. So, we'll throw this up with our tie plate. Get this magnet back in the water. So here soon, uh, I'm trying to get a dive team together to uh, go around Ohio and pull out like drunk cars and stuff out of the waters. Uh, so. If you're interested in that, like, let me know. But uh, for anyone that is gonna be doing that with me, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see on camera here, uh, this river's in Ohio. Uh, this is more upstream than some of the areas I'm trying to search. Uh, there's not a whole lot of water in it. Uh, right where I'm at, which is why I'm able to be out in the middle standing in it waist deep, but uh, when we get down further uh, towards Columbus uh, It's gonna be deeper, but the visibility is gonna remain the same. You got like maybe six inches of visibility if you're lucky and Hopefully we'll be diving in this uh, down down south more so that'll be pretty cool, man. Uh, you wanna check out this channel, subscribe to this channel. Uh, you might see some more really cool videos like that uh, here in the near future. Oh man, I had something else that's fairly heavy here. Uh, there's probably gonna be a whole lot of stuff in this area. Uh, usually I turn my camera off and then turn it back on when I find something, but I might just leave it on here because I don't know man there's a almost every throw I've been hitting something and whatever I hit is so heavy I don't even know if I can move my magnet. Mm. Nope. 
there it broke free. But there's something heavy right there. Uh, something really heavy. Uh, we're gonna try to pull that up here. Oh, we got something, part of it. Uh, it looks like a bolt. Oh, there's something else right there. I don't know if we can hit it again, but uh, we'll try. I'll just drag this magnet back as I'm walking. See if it snags on anything. Oh, and we got something. <laughs> Just uh, walking back with our other find, we got that thing. So the water right now is like really really cold uh, I'd say it's probably somewhere close to 40 degrees in the water right now and uh, with these waders on I don't really hardly feel it at all uh, my hands are a bit cold these aren't really the best gloves in the world for doing this but uh yeah these waders I don't feel anything well here's a train going by that'll be pretty cool csx 5437 54 53 59. There's another railroad spike. y'all can see all them cars but uh inside of every one of them train cars is a whole bunch of newly manufactured uh cars probably from honda or chrysler or ford because they're all in the area here hooked on something heavy so let's get out here and find out what it is feels like maybe another tie plate Oh, it's heavy, man. Oh. <clears throat> yep, another tie plate. We'll walk this thing back to the other one here. So that's two of these giant tie plates I found today. Probably a bunch more in this area, I'd imagine.
J hook. I don't know what they really call them, but I call them J hooks. We'll probably have to come up here soon, get my hands warm, get this rope on, on knotted, and uh, be back in here again here. But we've got something else heavy, probably another tie plate or something. Let's see what it is. Oh, lost the, lost the magnet on it. So we'll see if we can get it again. Nope. There's something in there though. Oh. We're on it again. Whatever it is, is right here. I think we got a good pull on it. So let's see if we can get it up. Nope. Lost the magnet. Going back down. We'll just kind of move it around in here. See if we can, oh, there it is. Another piece of pipe or something. So I'll throw you back over there. And then throw you over here. And we got another railroad spike. So I think we'll throw this in the bucket. We'll dredge our magnet across the bottom here. And then uh, I think we're gonna go warm up our hands. Cause my hands are pretty cold, man. Again, from the chest down, I'm completely toasty. But, uh, yeah, my hands are kind of cold. So I'll give her another good throw here. And then, uh, head on up for a few minutes. There's another spike, and yeah, man, it is time to warm up here. So we'll uh, take some of this stuff back up to the truck, uh, dump it out, get warmed up, and get ready to come back down. All right, yo, so. We are, uh, we're back here uh, with the power of YouTube magic uh, instantly. Uh, it actually took quite a while to do what I had to do there. All I did was throw the metal back up to the truck, uh, get warm, untangle my rope, and come back down. But uh, getting back up from here is a lot harder than I had anticipated. Uh, pretty much from like, right there up wasn't so bad but just getting from here to there man uh, 
I don't have a whole lot of mobility with these waders on. And just trying to get back up there was a challenge. I probably should have tied a rope to that guardrail. It would have made it a lot easier, but oh well. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna throw this magnet back in here and uh, hopefully we'll get some more uh, rusty old metal here. Again, it's just super, super weird uh, when you get out into the water for the first time with these things. Uh, even when I dive, I dive with a wetsuit, so it's like just a really weird feeling walking out here and being completely dry, but being able to feel the pressure of the water around you. It's something that's probably going to take me a while to get used to. <laughs> but uh, we got another railroad spike here. First throw back out in the waters here. Now we're just going to dredge the bottom back to our bucket. And we got another spike. I don't know how long ago they tore this bridge down, but uh, there's Pretty cool just seeing all the railroad material still in the water here. Kind of makes you mad that they're so wasteful that they just throw it in the water, but it's kind of cool that I'm getting it out right now. I don't know. I got mixed feelings on it. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's like two nails stuck together. Maybe like some sort of bracket for a sign. I think we're on something else. Fairly heavy right here. So we'll carefully make our way out here. Nope. <laughs> so I was hooked on something that came loose. Eh. Kind of looks like a batarang. There's another area in particular about, maybe about 50 yards away or so. I kind of want to check out. Just kind of see what's over there. Uh, Cause it kind of gets, the water gets more turbulent. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's a pinch point or uh, what's going on. Or if there's something in the water. I do want to check it out here in a bit. I'll throw the magnet a couple more times before I head over there. So I don't know what I'm going to find over there. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy because the water's not like super deep. But uh, I don't know, it could be something cool.
Oh, I think we're hooked right on something there. This is actually deep enough to go scuba diving in, but uh, I don't know if you'd ever see anything because you got like maybe like three inches of visibility now. It was about six earlier, but uh, yeah, it's way less now. Uh, the water's actually kind of rising a little bit, I think. Probably some runoff from somewhere. Now you'll notice in a lot of my other videos, I use a uh, different kind of magnet. Uh, I got this magnet out today because it's better for like dredging across uh, the, the bottoms like this. Uh, my other magnet is good for more of like a vertical drop down and hook onto something, uh, maybe bounce it across, but this one, you pretty much just drag it and with a low pull it uh, hooks on to things. <sighs> like uh, this pipe here. So we'll go throw this back in our bucket as we dredge the bottoms. So I see 1928 on this side and 1917. So I don't know if this thing was rebuilt in 1928 and then tore down later. I don't know. But uh, we got two more railroad spikes on our magnet just coming back. Put that stuff in the bucket. There's another J hook and a railroad spike. I thought I was hooked on something there, but I wasn't. 
feels like just rocks, honestly. So now, gotta straighten my roof back out here. So we'll just drop the whole thing and just rewind it as we go. So I might do some fishing off camera here and if I catch anything more extraordinary than what I've been catching, I'll turn the camera back on or uh, and then uh, I'll probably just show you what we got at the end of the day then uh, after we're all said and done. Uh, it's a lot of bolts and like railroad spikes, railroad tie plates and stuff. But, uh, yeah, there could be something else in here. Uh, yeah, I'll turn the camera back on here in a bit. I oh, think we got something here. Two more railroad spikes. Yeah, if I get anything more extraordinary, I'll turn this thing back on. All right, yeah, so we just got done magnet fishing here. Uh, there's probably more stuff in there, but uh, I got a lot of it out and I'm getting pretty tired, so I'm gonna call it a day. But uh, yeah, I'll show you what we got here. Uh, so a lot of really heavy stuff. Uh, we got in total today we got four of these big heavy um i call them tie plates uh what you do is they kind of tie parts of the railroad together uh so you kind of <laughs> sit them there on your uh piece of wood pounding the railroad spikes and then there's something that hooks the um actual rail to the uh wooden railroad ties so yeah i got a four of them i got a whole bunch of these railroad spikes like i didn't even count them all there's a lot uh, i got a bunch of these uh these things here it's some sort of washer or something like maybe a bushing uh, we got a bunch of these little, uh, I call them J-hooks. I'm not exactly too sure what they are. There's some, something to do with the railroad. Uh, I don't know exactly where they go. Uh, I got a bunch of them. And then uh, there was something else uh, that was pretty cool that I got. It kind of got buried in here. Uh, it was like an old rock of some sort. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Probably not with my luck. But, uh, I'll uh, sift through it here. Uh, see if I can find it real quick. Or just give up completely. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of too buried. I think. Yeah, I had some like really old ancient lock that probably fell off of the train car or something. It was pretty cool, man. But uh, yeah, I can't find it. And then uh, another really cool thing we got is uh, somebody's crack spoon. <laughs>
they kind of fold it like that, uh, put their crack in there, put a lighter underneath it. I don't know what they do with it, but uh, we found one of them. And uh, yeah, a bunch of railroad stuff. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a whole lot of stuff compared to what I get dumpster diving, but uh, it's stuff that nobody else is really gonna get around here. And it was pretty fun to do. So, yeah. Yeah, if you wanna uh, check out some other videos I got on this channel, uh, yeah, I might be getting more into this, uh, more into the dumpster diving stuff. And then occasionally you might see us start pulling some cars up out of the water. So, stay tuned for that, man. See ya. So I kind of shut off the camera there for a few minutes and sifted around. And I found it. I found the lock. Uh, you can't really tell it's a lock, really. I mean, you kind of can. You can see the little loop and shackle thing up there. Uh, it's like one of them disc locks. Like an old, ancient one. Uh, it's got something in the bottom of it. Uh, maybe the key, maybe something else, I don't know. But it's pretty cool, man. Uh, I think that was the coolest find of the day, honestly. So yeah, man. See ya.